Welcome. Once again, we're excited to gather today to acknowledge uh, another great class of athletes and coaches to our Gomery Athletic Hall of Fame. It's hard to believe now we are in our 11th year. Um, some of the plan years ago was we have to do this. And so we're in our 11th uh, year of, of, uh, of the Hall of Fame. For, uh, for those of you that I know most of you, um, Bill Lechner, I'm a retired athletic director. Um, and still the current hockey coach, but uh, just very honored to be in front of you today uh, to support these, this great uh, group. With that said, it's an honor and pleasure to be able to stand before you, as I mentioned, and uh, for all the great traditions in this room, we have Hill, Archbishop Murray, and Hill Murray, and all the stories in between, and it's, uh, it's grown to be such a great school. It's an outstanding place with a uh, great administration and a uh, really uh, lively, lively atmosphere here. So, um, before we begin our presentation, uh, I'd like to give the floor to our president, Melissa Dan. Good morning, I just want to officially welcome you on behalf of all of our current students and faculty and staff. Congratulations to all our, our inductees today and let you know uh, Hilmer is a real happy place. I've been so fortunate over the last couple of weeks to go to an Archbishop Murray 60th reunion, a Hill High School 60th reunion, and last night I was at a Hill Murray, our first graduating class, right, the 50th reunion, so 1972. And um, it's so fun to be around all these people and hear all the amazing stories, some I won't tell right now, but uh, they're amazing. And what I do hear though again and again no matter where I am, whether it's Hill, Archbishop Murray, or Hill Murray, I hear from people how fortunate they, they feel that their parents sent them to school, and that whether they left with that teacher that called them to be a better person than that they thought they could be, a best friend, uh, they all have some memory, and they all just say, I'm, I'm really grateful I, I came to this school. So I want to let you know, Hill Murray is a real happy place right now. We have 970 students, 6 to 12. Uh, our enrollment has never been higher for the last 10 years, and uh, we are fortunate that we're serving um, so many students. They come from about 50 zip codes. Some take two buses to get here every morning. Some pass five of other schools to get here every day because it's so important for them to be here. And we're committed to making sure home is accessible to any student who wants to be here. So we continue to raise a ton of money with scholarships, and that's, that's important to who we are as a school. So, on behalf of everyone here, congratulations, and um, just know you're always welcome back. This is your home. Come meet me for lunch one day and see what a crazy cafeteria looks like. <laughs> 970 students in and out. You guys can attest to that. Uh, but it's a fun place, so just know you're always welcome back. Never hesitate to reach out to Judy or me, and uh, being around kids keeps you young, and it's a fun place to be. So I'm fortunate that I get to be present in school every day, and I'm going to pass it back to Bill. Um, on behalf of Gilmore School, I'd like to first welcome and acknowledge our past inductees that are here today, able to attend today, um, and I'll go by order of uh, from Lewis to the first inaugural year. Uh, of the 21, if you wouldn't mind standing and stay standing, uh, pause at the end. From 2021, we have Vince Conway, a 1971 graduate and teacher and coach. From 2018, we have John Caldwell, 1974 graduate, and Connie Hain Cork from 1979. From 2017, we have Steve Romanchuk, 1967, Jeff Black, 1973, and Benita Holizo uh, from 1982. From 2016, we have Tom Kinsella from 1962, John Heller from 1964, and Barry Prisby from 1971. And uh, Peggy, or I'm sorry, George Bear from 1988. From 2015, we have James Jim Wolf from 1964. From our 2013 class, Jeff Whistler from 1976. And um, from the inaugural year, from 2011, Brother Francis Carr, our uh, famous athletic director back in the day and everything else, <laughs> and Terry Stripeck uh, as a film ray coach from the uh, inaugural class of 2011 and teacher. So congratulations to all you guys. Thanks for coming here today. Really uh, proud to have you. I'd also like to recognize the Hall of Fame 
Assistant Selection Committee. Um, Judy Heidel Schwartz oversees it as far as, by the, just to give you a note, if any of you have names and people and guys and ladies that you went to school with that you believe need to be considered, uh, send the uh, email or text to Judy Heidel Schwartz and she gathers it all. And then the committee, we uh, gather and do this process. So on the Hall of Fame Selection Committee uh, is Aaron Herman, who is a retired principal and the current girls basketball coach. Aaron, you can stand. <laughs> You're not shy. <laughs> Um, Judy Hilo Schwartz, who puts all this together, and she's the glue of all of us with this, so thank you. She's in the back. Uh, and then um, John Heller, class of 1964 and a 2016 Athletic Hall of Fame inductee. Vince Conway, class of 1971, uh, went to school here, retired teacher, coach, and everybody knows him as well. He's been around a long time, no offense, Vinny. <laughs> and a 2021 Hall of Fame inductee. John Paul, our current activities director, in back. And John, yes, you will be taking this over pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a great job uh, in your third year, right? I think, yeah, I haven't gone that long. And myself. So thank you for the committee and all the work that you do. <laughs> We'd also like to welcome all the Hillmary community, um, of students, alumni, friends, and families who are in attendance today. Uh, it seems that there's, respectfully to all of us, there's a connection somewhere everywhere you go, and it's uh, to the tribute of the Hillmary community. So thanks to all of you for attending today. Um, last but not least, we welcome the teachers, administrators, and the coaches of the past and present that are here today. And a special uh, thank you to our supporter that's been with us a long, long time, respectfully. Brother Arnold, thank you again for being here. You're a very special person. And now the reason, the reason that we are here today. Um, our first one, I'm going to represent uh, our first inductee, I'll just say his name. His first one is Dennis Ryan. Um, he was uh, class of 1985. He's not able to attend here today um, for his family. Uh, Dennis drove up from Atlanta and then he wasn't feeling good so he, he called me last night, just late yesterday, and said he just uh, didn't feel well enough to be here today. He apologized, he feels terrible, um, but we're blessed to have him on our Hall of Fame. And so I would like to read uh, his plaque of his accomplishments. And being here as a young teacher when he was here, uh, I can tell you he was just a class guy He's been in law enforcement in Atlanta for the last 26 years. Uh, a great guy, it was fun to catch up, up with him on Friday night, but uh, he fell ill and, and he's on his way back to Atlanta, but he wanted to thank you. He's a 1985 graduate of Hillary High School, four years varsity football, all-conference, all-city team, sophomore year, all-conference, all-metro, all-state, WCCO prep team, junior year, all-conference, all-metro, all-state, Adidas All-American team, senior year, captain, junior, and senior years, most valuable player on defense, three years basketball, one year varsity, four years varsity track, shot put, discus, and four by four relay, junior and senior years, uh, shot put, all conference. That's all he did here. And he went to school too. <laughs> <laughs> he did go to class. He very well. Uh, he played football at the University of Minnesota. His career got cut a little bit short with, uh, he had some injuries. But a uh, great guy, great person. I wish he was here. He wishes some congratulations to the other guys for his statements, and he feels terrible, but life goes on. Uh, and we told him to come on up in a couple months, and we'll show him around and be with him again. So the first inductee is Dennis Ryan. season, so he was able to pull off both, and he'll talk to you about that briefly, which is amazing. 
National Honor Society and top 10 in the graduating class. Uh, ran track at the University of Minnesota, John Hartman. Congratulations to Hill having beaten the mill on Friday night. I hated them almost as much as I hated Creek. <laughs> good to do that. 54 years ago, I left having graduated from the University of Minnesota to leave the area to pursue my own career dreams. And I can't tell you how great it is to be back home again. Yes. I'd like to acknowledge Bill and Judy for all they've done this, this past few months in preparation for this event to make it so special, both for everybody else here, but for me specifically. I'd also like to thank your Hillary President, Melissa Dan, for hosting this event and the activities around it while acknowledging the history of this institution. I'd also then like to acknowledge my sister Jackie and her husband Ronald Barrett. Both were inaugural 1962 graduates from their respective schools at that time. I appreciate them, appreciate them very much. Jackie was quite an athlete in her time, but she was about 50 years ahead of Title IX. <laughs> and uh, in Murray, at that time, uh, athletes weren't given the opportunity to show what they could do. I'm glad to see that today we're honoring athletes of all groups in their contributions. And finally, I'd like to congratulate my fellow inductees on their individual recognition, knowing full well the commitments they had to make to be as successful as they were. When I first got the call from Bill Lechner this past late August, my phone identified it as out of state possible spam. <laughs> Now that I've met him, I know that's not part of the truth. <laughs> As I prepared my response to the interruption in the most non-Christian kind of way, <laughs> Bill identified himself and the purpose of his phone call. We spoke further about the old times, and he politely, politely recommended that I not be that old guy whose, whose story began with, I walked to school each day uphill, barefooted, in the winter, over broken glass. <laughs> Our discussions, however, did conjure up in my mind in specific ways to think about how things were different back then to what they are today. I did, in fact, hitchhike to White Bear Lake after most practices in all sports seasons that I played. And my brother-in-law drove me that distance today, and it was 6.2 miles that I had to hitchhike. That's very different than today. No one knows where hitchhiking is. <laughs> and, and even if you do, no one's ever going to pick you up. <laughs> so it wasn't over a broken glass. It wasn't uh, uh, so, so uphill. But I was really glad that I didn't play hockey. <laughs> that walk got pretty bad in, in, in the time in the, in the winter. Time. So that was one of the major changes that I think was different from what maybe some of the more current athletes had their experience. The other thing that Bill alluded to is I was allowed to play two sports in a single season. And that's really hard to do. And in, in today's world, I have a grandson who had to declare what sport he was going to compete in when he was 14 years old and was denied the opportunity to try other things. And maybe that's just New York State, but that's the way it worked out there. And between New York State, he actually lives in Virginia. In my mind, that's, that's a real shame that you have to do that. But there was a, a very interesting dynamic that occurred in my time. Coaches had to agree to allow games to stop so I could go down and run a track event. Mm -hmm. Coaches had to, had to transport me from one site to another when we were in regional championships to make sure that I got there in time to play sport and be able to play as well as I could. 
And these weren't just our coaches, these were the competitor coaches too. And so I had an opportunity that very few kids had a chance to do, and that is to play two sports at the same time. It wasn't easy, but it was fun, and people supported me 100%. So many times have changed, but as the same goes, sometimes the more things change, the more they stay the same. I, I recall when I got the call from Bill today, I started thinking about it. Three years ago, next month, I found myself in the stands of two separate soccer stadiums, watching my 14-year-old grandson play in the Virginia State Championship game for his under-17 soccer club. And later that evening at Gonzaga High School's Conference and City Championship, at 14 years old, he was a starting teacher at both events. And you can imagine how proud of him I was for his success and for that of my son. As the night concluded with a two to one victory and a sweep of the day, I watched as the students and fans poured onto the field in celebration. Teammates hugging, coaches shaking hands, and beaming parents high-fiving in the stands. In that brief moment, a flashback of some 55 years prior came to me, capturing the thrills I once experienced as a member of three different Hill sports teams. I was privileged to be a part of way back then. So we never won a championship, and all the time I competed at Hill, I knew I was among champions all the same. That Virginia evening, for all its excitement, reminded me intensely of my last football practice of the Hill season, concluding as dust settled in. As was, as was the tradition back then, each senior would take a lap around the goalpost to be greeted at the end of the run by his teammates in tribute to the hard work and contributions each player made, whether they were starters or not. At the end of the gong, we were embraced by our coaches, who individually thanked us for our efforts, wished us well, and told us an individual, private comment on what we meant to them. I remember hugging each of my teammates, trying not, trying best not to show too much emotion. <coughs> that same kind of experience was replicated at the end of every sports season I participated in while at Hill whether as a region, in a regional elimination game or in a track event. And in every experience, I felt that, that I was part of something big, bigger than a game, bigger than any win, something more about life mirroring sports. I would come to know far better about this as I entered adulthood, discovered my lifelong career, made new friends, and drawing experiences from Hill that hopefully helped me make the right decisions in my life. What I learned most at Hill from the teachers and the mentors who guided me through those challenging but rewarding four years, why, what, what became the building blocks for both me and my personal and my business career for all those principles taught to me every day on the sports field of Hill. Commitment, dedication, discipline, of the game and team. I was amazed when I hung up the phone with, from, from Bill that I immediately sat down and I wrote the names of everybody that I played sports with at Hill Murray that I can remember. And, I, and, and it was clear to me, I, I can't tell you what I had for breakfast <laughs> yesterday. About 58 years removed from the game, there my teammates were. Chuck Hahn, Dave Perre, Bernie Gruber, Mike Lewis, John Heller, Jim Wold, Tony Reaver, Dan Ireland, Dean Kinsella, Jim Rocco, Rick Colver. And it was amazing to me I could do that. Then I sat down with the track team, did the same thing. Sat down with the baseball team, did the same thing. And something obviously moved me that this event is now culminating. So, I know I'm a little long-winded, but I've been here longer than most, so I get a little more. <laughs> <laughs> All of the principles that I talked about translate into life itself. And though Coach Sullivan, Coach Getchman, and Coach Costello, and Coach Ackerman 
may not have known it at the time, they were there to help me become who I am today, and along with my parents and my siblings, made me the man I am. I had a great career, an exciting career, a fulfilling career, just as I had a great, exciting, and fulfilling personal life. The foundation for all of it was found in my parents, my siblings, and this place. I'm truly grateful to be being given this award, and I'm thankful for both of you who supported my nomination. More importantly, I will be forever grateful to my sports teammates and my coaches for being given the privilege to know you, compete with you by my side, and to be able to call you friends. Thank you for this honor. that spawned the nickname Yogi 
or the CCM super tax that got me a scholarship to Providence College. You can't say enough about the man. Um, fast forward to the fall of 1968 when I came on the dusty fields of Hill High School right down the road. There was a group of men that were there that certainly helped form my character, some of which are in the Hall of Fame and some should be. First of all, Brother Francis, we all know, he did everything. He set the bar for what athletic <coughs> directors should be. And it's, it's amazing what he did. Then there's the coaches, Andre Ballou. Andre was, he could have gone by one name long before Madonna made it. <laughs> John Mauer Sr. And of course the, the football staff, Jim Wald, <coughs> Steve Fricke, and Bill Wald. Unbelievable group of coaches and mentors and teachers. It was, it was great to be a part of that group. And you know, you, you cannot play on four state championship teams without good teammates. And I played with some of the best at this school. Some of them were a year or two older than me, some of them were a year or two younger than me. Many of them are here today. But I'm gonna mention just a handful that happened to be from the class of 1972 that we're honoring as the 50th class the first graduating class from home. And if you're old enough, you might recognize some of these names. Dick Spanball, Dave Longevin, Paul Osborne, Jerry Peters, Jerry Hoffman, and Tom Cook. Those were six classmates, teammates of mine, that I celebrated 50 years with last night at Indian Hills Golf Course. It was such an honor to be part of that group. And there's one other person that I want to mention, and I hope to get through this. My mom, Lorraine Whistler, died on February 1st, 1970. I was literally on the ice, skating for the pioneers at Aldrich Arena. She saw very little of my athletic career, but I know one thing for sure. She's looking down today on this group, and she's proud of her newest Hall of Famer. Thank you very much. It really has not gone unnoticed. It's 
an amazing day already. Um, I also want to thank the legend Kurt Wachler for thinking of me and for his nomination for this award. It's certainly one of the most meaningful and personal honors I have ever received. And I'm proud and I'm flattered. Um, and I also want to congratulate all the other inductees as well. I always say this, no matter anywhere where I go, I always say this that and it's 100% true that Hill Murray was one of the best places I have ever been a part of and one of the best times of my life. Um, from an athletic standpoint, it was the best time of my life. Uh, growing up in this community had a profound effect on me as a student, as an athlete, and as just as a person overall. So for, so for this community to recognize me is truly, really, really special. As I prepared for what I wanted to say, uh, I was inspired all over again, thinking of the people in my life who were part of my journey. And my journey started really early on. I mean, I was born into the Maurer family, so... <laughs> so, I'm not really sure sports were even an option for me at this point, but um, I'm sure glad I was, because um, it's a really good thing, and sports actually turned out to be the most important and rewarding part of my life, and it still actually is the same today. Um, and I have a lot of people to thank for that. Um, first, I want to thank my parents. They have spent an insane amount of time supporting me in all my sports. Driving me around to a number of different games. Making sure I had the, the right equipment. All the shoes. Getting me on the right teams. I mean, I literally had no idea. But now I'm a parent of three young boys. And so I understand how difficult that is and how hard that is. And so I'm forever grateful. Um, to my dad, Craig Maurer, who was my first real coach, um, and the best coach I have ever had. Um, in fact, he still coaches me today, but not as a player, but as a coach myself. I love you, Dad. Um, and to my mom, my biggest cheerleader. Everybody knew if my mom was at the game. She was yelling, <laughs> screaming, cheering, laughing. She was. She was the person that, that was there just supporting the entire team, not just me, but all of my teammates. Um, and she was there also to give me a big hug after the game or to just frankly leave me alone, depending on the outcome of the game. <laughs> she always knew what I needed. Um, and to my brothers, Daniel and David Maurer, um, thank you for so graciously letting your little sister play um, or your big sister play in the backyard wiffle games, in the you know driveway hoops, in the, in the front yard football. Um, the fact that you never ever wanted me to win really helped me out, I think. <laughs> it is true what they say, that, that that other sibling who gets picked on and beat on all the time, yep, that, they, 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 uh, that definitely makes a difference in their career. Um, and, to my, and to my coaches, oh my gosh, my wonderful coaches. Um, I know a lot of the inductees have already talked about their coaches, but truly some of the most influential people of my life. Um, to Ms. Herman, it just still feels wrong to call her Erin Herman. Um, I'll just call her Ms. Herman. Um, Ms. Jorison, Julie Jorison, um, and Ron Snaza, and all the other coaches during my time at Hill Murray. Um, to say that I looked up to my coaches is an understatement. I mean, not many people can say that their confirmation sponsor was the assistant varsity basketball coach. <laughs> um, I have taken what I have learned and applied it in my own coaching philosophies. Um, for example, when my when my team is screwing around, you know, and not paying attention, I think, hmm, what would Miss Herman do? <laughs> hey, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we never did that, but if we did, um, what would she do? And I go, hmm, all right, boys, get on the line, put the ball over your head, and run. And it actually works. So thank you for the tip. Um, to my, to all my non-teammate friends, some are here today. Um, thank you for reminding me that there was more to life than sports. Um, yet you always knew how important they were to me. Um, I can still see them sitting in the bleachers on Friday nights or driving to Mankato for the state tournament, and, and I know there were other things that they could have been doing or <laughs> wanted to have been doing, but they showed up for me. 
And so I appreciate that. That just makes me smile when I think about that, and I, and I love you girls. Um, and then teammates. I saved the best for last. Sorry, Mr. Whistler. I think I have the best teammates <laughs> that I have played with. Um, and my boys often ask me, uh, you know, about the olden days. And, <laughs> and they'll ask me, like, hey, Mom, how many, how many points did you score? How many times did you strike out? How many home runs did you hit? Um, how many rebounds did you get? And I honestly tell them, I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, but what I do remember and what I can tell you about is all my amazing teammates. Um, and I love to tell stories about all of them and the situations that happened in a game and how my teammates were there for me and how I was there for them. Um, and just the friendships, the camaraderie, the commitment that we all had together and, and just the fun. I mean, sports are supposed to be fun, and I just had so much fun with them. Um, I've been out of high school for 25 years now, and I can tell you that I still run into people that I played against at youth basketball tournaments. And they'll come up to me and be like, oh, I remember you. I remember that team. Um, I won't share why they remember us, but um, that could be for, a, for another story. And lastly, um, my love and thanks go to my boys, Declan, Brennan, and Gavin, and to my husband, Ryan. Um, I have nieces that are young athletes right now, and they're here today as well. And I take my role as a female athlete very, very seriously, and my family knows that, and I am here to, to share that. I feel that it's important, and, and it's my honor to stand up here to, to <coughs> Receive this award and, and I dedicate it to all my nieces out there because it's really, really important. And my family knows that, that I feel this way and they're always supporting me. Um, I also wanted to thank my, my in-laws for, for being here today. So they're not all Malmers. I mean, there's mostly <laughs> Malmers, but there's a couple Doherty's in there. So I wanted to thank them for, for making the trip as well. Okay, and now lastly, this is to my boys. Boys, now that I have this honor, I have <laughs> I hope that now you will actually trust me and believe me that I know what I'm talking about. Gina, my second, or 
what are you, my, my third, fourth, fifth sister? <laughs> um, um, I am so thankful for my parents. Um, I really can't uh, thank them enough for um, allowing me and sending me to such a wonderful school and supporting me through uh, all my endeavors and all our siblings. I, I don't know how they, how they did it with all five of us, but really remarkable and um, I feel so honored um, to be part of this group and accepting this, um, this, great, uh, this great induction. Um, I want to thank all my coaches, uh, Coach Herman, uh, the rest of the little basketball crew. Um, even though I was uh, scared about the call, I think it's just because I respect uh, Miss Herman so much and uh, would do anything she told me to run, run through a brick wall. I'll do <laughs> just owe so much um, to all the athletic department, Miss Herman, uh, volleyball, Coach Tim. Waylon, uh, he could be like one of my first ever coaches, probably the longest volleyball coach I've had. Um, the track team, uh, Bill Rowe was my head coach at that time, and so many other assistants. Um, I think being part of uh, so many team sports really got me to where I am um, in the medical field. So much about my career has been about teamwork and getting those leadership skills and resiliency, and I would have never, never gotten any of that without Hill Murray and without all all my athletic uh, support. So I just want to thank everyone. And like I said, I'm so honored to be in this, in this company and um, really humbled. So thank you so much.
um, a little nephew, Scott, he used to call him Scooter, <laughs> and my other nephew, Todd, my niece, Gina, and Lisa, and Lisa's husband, Tim, my brother, Don, my sister, Mary, and my wonderful partner of 23 years, Mark. Uh, I'd also like to thank my teammates, because when I came here from Michigan, our entire school was 300 students. And when I came to Hill Murray, my class was 383. So it was a huge shock for me, and it was um, kind of daunting. But there was a time when I thought I might want to go back home. But it was because of my wonderful teammates that took me in as when they have been playing for two years together and they accepted me for who I was and I will never forget that. And that's the reason why I stayed here. Also, my coach is Bill Wold. He was my basketball and softball coach and Vince Conway. And um, Con Connie Korf, Bonita Holheisel, and um, Sarah Edel and Molly Bott and Monica Hilger were kind of our core group that kind of took me under their wings and that I, why I'm here today. I would also like to thank, or I'm sorry, congratulate the other inductees that are here with me today. It is a extremely huge honor and I don't know, as Deanna said, I don't know if I've ever gotten anything as honorable as this award. And sports at Hill Murray has taken me through the journey of my life. I have met people in my um, teaching life that have thought I was the coolest person because I went to Hill Murray. <laughs> and they thought that you know, the Pioneers were a pretty good team. I was able to go to the state tournament as a team and I also wrapped at the state tournament and coached at the state tournament. So Minnesota has given me a lot for my sports. I want to also thank Monica for being my supporter in anything that I have done. And I, as a retired teacher, I am living the dream. I am working six Gopher sports. I work for the Minnesota United, I work for the Timberwolves, the Lynx, and some um, St. Thomas and an Oprah Ramsey. So sports has been in my blood since I was a toddler with my two brothers. I was a tomboy. And I just want to thank everyone who has been a part of my life at Hill Murray and in my journey along the way. Thank you.
We're going to go to the cafeteria in the commons. Um, for any of you, just a couple side notes. Uh, they all received individual plaques. Uh, if you go up towards the field house someday, or if you're here, or if you want to go today, if you want to see some of you haven't been around in a while, would like to see some of the new facilities, certainly we'll do that. Just find us after we eat, and we'll certainly do that to show you a lot of really nice uh, things going on at the Marine, especially in the athletic fields, uh, facilities. And then there'll be a plaque, we'll see the other 10 plaques are up there, up by the field house and gymnasiums. On the walls are the 10 plaques that they'll be there forever to show your kids, grandkids, and everybody after you. So, thank you. But with that said, uh, we'd like to go to the cafeteria, enjoy some uh, lunch, and uh, do some more talking. And thank you so much for being here. We are closed.